Michael, let's get started here. First of all, you've written a book about cutting-edge robotics research that's going on at the U.S. Defense Department. What are they doing, for example? Well, first of all, you have to realize that uh, about the, the single biggest funder of robotics and artificial intelligence is the U.S. military. Uh, be that as it may. So, so they have a very specific agenda, which do trickle over into the civilian world. Um, you sound like that's an ominous thing we should be worried about. Well, not necessarily. They created no? the internet. But, but they also are creating assistants that can learn from us, uh, computerized assistants. They want commanders to be able to better access information. They're creating cars that drive themselves. They want vehicles to go through war zones without uh, harming drivers, but that can help us too on civilian roads. And they're also creating robots that can patch people up on trauma. They call it trauma pod. So if you're in a car accident or the specific application they have is if you get shot up, a robot can patch you up without human intervention. So those are some of the things they're working on now. So most people when they hear Defense Department spending, they automatically go to a negative place. You tell us it ain't necessarily so. That was my intention writing this book, The Department of Mad Scientists. You know, I realized there was a lot of useful application coming out of this one defense department agency that we were using as civilians, GPS, the internet, things like this. And robotics is a very large part of this. So I think we're going to see some of this coming into our automobiles and, and other places at home too.